girl that runs away. I was always the obnoxious heel character, so that's how I played it, and that was wrong. <laughs> so when it was time to cast, I did not make it. But I did meet Jason, who I've you know been very close with for years, and I made lots of friends and contacts, and that was a that was a blast. That made me want to actually get better at acting and take out my black and pink weave and stop over tanning and start learning how to act and so I have been working at that like trying to learn and trying to get better trying to make new friends that also want to learn and get better ever since so as you progressed in your acting career you you diversified yourself and like you said, when you made the audition, you kind of played your wrestling character because your wrestling character was was very um, was always a heel character. Was always very I'm the rock star and you suck because you're not, um, and I'm better than you because I'm a musician and a wrestler. So um, how do you how do you prepare to diversify yourself for different roles for different characters? Because it's not all about you know the lines that you say or you know, even even the way you talk, it's about body language, too. It's about, you know, giving it that special something. So how do you prepare for a role? Well, it depends. Um, it's hard to get roles that you really have to branch out at um, when you're doing your local stuff. Sometimes um, I've gotten really lucky in doing a lot of different things. But um, uh, usually I play myself, and I just I don't really have to prepare for that, but I've done several other roles that, like, sword bearer, and um, the first thing that comes off the top of my mind, but I practiced my ass off for that, because that wasn't me, that was somebody else. It just takes practice, it takes studying, and it takes just getting into that place, and God, I can't for any means say that I'm good at it, but I'm, like, working at it hard, and that's what it takes. That's what everything takes is just, uh oh, working at it. <laughs> All right, that was my time. Yeah, plug that in. <laughs> so, um, and I, I, I advertised this in this interview, and this person has been waiting like 16 minutes, and I'd feel horrible if we didn't get to this person. So, if, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I do have a caller waiting. Um, I'll announce your area code. Plus the last four digits of your number. So hopefully that won't give the number away. But um, if you have a question for Ronnie, uh, you're welcome to call in. Uh, caller, area code 8593, last four digits, 329. I'm assuming by that laugh you know this person. But you are now live on the air with myself and Ronnie Jenna with your question. Wow, it's it's great to be on the air with Ronnie. First of all, I appreciate everything you do. It's very nice. I was going to ask you about. I was at the uh, concave room party this weekend at Fright Night, and I heard you're in some kind of Screen Actors Guild production coming up called Breakfast Impossible. Um, can you tell me more about that? Yes, I can. God, Breakfast Impossible. You know what it feels like when you want to get a breakfast sandwich, say now, for example, when you can't because it's impossible. It's Breakfast Impossible which is a web series that my good friends, uh, Claude Miles, Billy Boyd, and Steve Gwynn are putting together. It uh, is a SAG project that all the local folk are jumping in on, and it's a sci-fi, you know, uh, comedy web series. That, well, that's, um, that's, has that's a lot of so potential. great. I really appreciate what you're doing. It's so, it seems like that, that there's so little... Uh, room for work for paid work for local talented actors and to help to see you helping to to start a union and work with that that's just really great to you know brings everybody together and we just really appreciate all of your work and everything that you do and and i'll get off and let someone else call in thank you so much for having me thank, thank you very you. much <laughs> sir, who i've never talked to in my life <laughs> okay, bye. <so> bye. <laughs> bye Okay, this next caller has been waiting for six minutes, and it's the only other caller that's showing up. So I will get to this person. Area code 270, last four digits, H2585. You are now live on the air with myself and Ronnie Jonah. 
Well, thank you for so very much. This, uh, my name's Ben Rice, long-time listener, first-time caller. I was curious, early on in uh, Ronnie's career, there was an episode with a Mr. Sacco. Did they ever have a rematch by any chance? <laughs> Can I swear on the on this show? <laughs> yes, you can. You, Amber O'Neill sweared on this show once, so you can oh, swear on this show. Yes. Well, I'm going to have to invite this caller to go fuck themselves. Next caller. <laughs> okay, thanks for calling in, oh, next caller. Question. Does this caller have another question? Oh, no, 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 he he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what you're well, about. this is... must have been a strange stranger. Yeah, yeah. Number, someone number. you probably definitely don't know because I've never heard his voice before. This is definitely the most colorful interview before. I've ever done. I cannot believe that guy <laughs> came too. I can't. I can't believe he got on. I I wish that my website would have some sort of you know calling <laughs> screening you know, uh, but I'm cheap. I can't afford. I I'm going to college soon. Yeah, I can't afford some screen calling crap. So um, no, sorry God, about no. that. Why, why would you want to screen this stuff? This is what makes this yeah, is what I makes know. entertainment I'm, entertaining. There's this is going to be a hit on YouTube. Thank you very much you for contributing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Bring it on. <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought and all that crazy fun. Um, so, <sighs> backtracking a bit to wrestling. Uh, or yes. intertwining it to kind of acting. Um, how has your wrestling career kind of uh, helped your acting career, or has it not? Or, you know, has it made it worse? Has it made it better? Like, you definitely said that you, you have a big fan base because of that, but in other ways, how has it affected your acting career? Well, the actual acting itself, I would say that... Um wrestling didn't help that because so before that I did theater since I was a kid and I think I actually as a wrestler since I did one character for years I think like it took me a while to retrain myself not to have those quirks because you know I'm myself and then I'm this character and I'm the same character every day for several years I had to break out of that one character with all that one person's quirks you know what I mean I'm still trying to do that trying to make sure I don't do the old facial you know expressions and the old stance that doesn't belong in a lot of roles that I, you know, do today. But on the flip side of that, well, if it wasn't for my, you know, what success I had in wrestling, then I wouldn't have gotten such a fantastic jump start into doing this because I only got to LA because of the people who voted for me to go out there. And that's what inspired me to do this. And that's how I, it's a catalyst towards meeting all the people that I've met today that have, you know, worked with me and helped me and who I've helped, like, it's entirely from the wrestling experience, like, like, you know, may not have one without the other. So I, I'd also be remiss if I didn't bring this up, but some people do that and some people do know this and some people don't, but uh, before you adopted the rock star gimmick with your kind of group that you led named Gothic, Gothic Mayhem, you were the on-screen girlfriend of former WWE champion The Miz, and oh man, before, is he not the champion anymore? Yeah, he he lost it. Oh god, I think he lost it to I John was so, Cena. I'm so proud and then, of my old TV boyfriend. <laughs> yes, yes, I, he had a good he had a good reign though. I want to say it was like about five six months maybe. So oh, it that's was it cool. was it didn't go in vain, but uh. Uh, and he's still he's still like the major heel on Raw next to Alberto Del Rio. Um, but he good, did, that's he did fantastic. Good, John Cena. But anyway, getting to your kind of role with him, um, not only what was it like for you to work with him, but now knowing what success that he's had, what do you, what do you think about him and his career, and what kind of memories do you have with him? Oh man, like he was great. He was great fun. He was just. He was a, he's a fun person. He's really easy to deal with, work with, really laid back, really cool. Um, I don't. I, this is probably not something you should say, or I should say, I guess, rather, since uh, he's a bad guy. But I would, I don't know, I would not to, I, I would say that he's he's a very inspiring person. He was on, what show was he on? The um, yeah, reality Real show. World, and yes, yes, yes. He, he did that show, and he told everybody, I'm going to be the uh, WWE champion. 
And everyone told him, you know, yeah, right. And guess what? He was. So if that's not somebody saying what they're going to do and doing it, then I don't know what is. So that's how I feel about him. So um, before I get to how fans can contact you, because we're running out of time, I do ask a couple of conventional questions. I ask every interviewee about wrestling, and then I'll, ask, and I'll intertwine it with your acting career. But the key to cool. answering these questions is that they have to be with one word, answer. So either yes or no or just the one word that you will use. Uh, if, if you were to describe your experience both in acting and professional wrestling, what one word would you use for each field? Oh, shenanigans, in a good way. <laughs> um, would you encourage anyone at all to become a professional wrestler or actor? I will always encourage everyone to push forward with whatever their dream is. Uh, if oh, yes. you yes. could, oh, yes. Yes. if you could pull one actor or actress, and this can be like anyone famous into wrestling, and any famous wrestler into acting, who would it be? Uh, wow. Um. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of who wrestles nowadays. Randy Orton, John Cena, about uh, Alberto Del Rio. It can also be on someone like the independent scene, like Chris Hero, or uh, maybe Lizzie Valentine, anyone like that. I would put... I, I, thank you. I would pick the Miz, because he's great. And to go um, into wrestling... Go into wrestling, yes. Oh, to go into wrestling, um, I will not put anybody in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> not because well, it's not great, we... just because uh, I can't think of anybody. I guess I'll put Jason Crow there since he needs his ass beat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have about. A uh, few minutes left, so how can fans get in contact with you and keep up to date with your projects and possibly send some fan mail and some crazy phone calls like the one that we got on the air today? Yes, uh, crazy phone calls. What? Yeah, that guy what you... better never, ever, ever call me again. <laughs> well, what do you, what do you use and to keep in contact? stop flashing me outside my window. I don't need to see that. Okay, don't, don't stop flashing me. Um, I'm on Twitter. Uh, I haven't been on there that long, so I need folks on Twitter to join my Twitter. It's Twitter, Ronnie Jonah, and Facebook, and uh, of the zombie movie, facebook.com slash the zombie movie. That's the page for all your the zombie movie shenanigans and info and times and places where we will need zombies. And I have a website. Okay. That's right. It's uh, actressronniejonah.com. Forgot about that. Oh, sweet. The Twitter, yeah. The but website, I, I Facebook, Twitter at Ronnie Jonah. I, zombie movie on Ronnie uh, on uh, Facebook.com, excuse me. Um, so it definitely seems like you're social networking and you're the social networking queen of horror films. No, <laughs> not horror well, films. Like... Or for any film, you know. Here's, here's well, the thing is that, like, I, I, love, I love screen queens, but I'm not a screen queen. Well, with 60 seconds left, I have to give this outro. Well, I'd like to thank Ronnie Jonah for joining me. And um, thanks so much for giving me the most entertaining interview ever. And I'll get out of here. I haven't even got out of bed yet. Let's start over. Let's start this over now that I've been drinking. <laughs> well, you can visit www.wrestling-divas and that's divas with the Z dot webs dot com for all your professional wrestling needs. and I'm also running the Twitter for the website at Wrestling Divas again with a Z at the end this will be posted on YouTube so you can listen to this anytime on there oh, I will God. let you know when that's done 
And thank you all for listening, and thank you once again to Ronnie Jonah and blogtalkradio.com. We will see you again soon.